What is going on and welcome back to part two of our top 10 horror podcast. If you're just finding this video, this is a two-part video, so you'll definitely want to check the link below and watch part one. It's not a ranking video, so you don't need to see one uh, before the other, but definitely check the link in the description for the other half of this video. For our second half of the list and number five, on the top 10 podcast, Bloody Date Night. One of the fun aspects of being a horror fan is showing your favorite movies to people uh, for their first time and getting their reaction, and that is kind of what this podcast is based on. Uh, started in 2015 and just completing their 82nd episode, Liz and Josh um, of... <laughs> Pete's... My dog's scratching at me here. Uh, Liz and Josh of the Duo Couple podcast, Bloody Date Night, have an interesting concept. Josh is a huge horror fan, and Liz is a noob and not so much a horror fan. So the podcast is really her journey of watching and discovering horror movies that Josh uh, introduces to her for the first time as he dumps his useless horror knowledge on her as we horror fans tend to do. And Liz reacts and they together analyze different movies each week. Uh, they've tackled everything from Freddy to Chucky to slightly more obscure titles like Dr. Giggles and Sleepaway Camp 3. It's a, it's a unique take for a movie of the week style podcast and the two have great, uh, great chemistry and you get to know each of them pretty well over the course of the 80 plus episodes. It's a lot of fun. I think us horror fans uh, tend to get a little desensitized of how fucked up and weird um, our movies tend to be. So watching someone else recoil or be disgusted by something we're laughing hysterically at is just so much fun. Definitely check out Bloody Date Night. Next up, A Nightmare on Film Street. The next horror podcast on the list is actually one I discovered recently and I've been binging lately. It's awesome. It has a fresh take on the often done uh, movie of the week format and is a double feature of the week. Pete, you gotta let me film this video, buddy, okay? Pete, you're gonna have to go. I think you're gonna, come on, bud. You have to go outside while I do this. I'm sorry. Uh, and it has a fresh take on the often done movie of the week format and that it's a double feature of the week. So, hosted by Jonathan Dehan alongside Kimberly Elizabeth, uh, debuting in 2016 and on their 147th episode at the time of filming this video, Nightmare on Film Street takes two movies of a similar theme, whether it's a creature feature, a ghost story, a uh, slasher, and puts them head to head uh, to be discussed in a light, lighthearted and humorous tone. The conversation between its hosts generally consists of facts on the production, riffing on bad special effects, their adoration of various films, and tangents on filmmaking in general. Highlights include mashups between 70s Italian and Jalo flicks like Suspiria and Blood and Black Lace, 90s classics like Candyman vs. Beetlejuice, and even triple features like Night vs. Dawn vs. Day of the Dead. I've listened to five or six of these now and it's becoming one of my favorite podcasts. I absolutely love this. Hosts are super fun. They got a lot of charisma and good chemistry. I give Nightmare on Film Street a shot. I think you'll dig that one. It's a lot of fun. The next one is a rowdy little podcast with a wild group of uh, horror freaks known as the Cult Classic Horror Show. The pod consists of the Bonin brothers, Danny and Scott Bonin, Rob O'Neill and Carmelo Chimera, started five years ago and inching close to 300 episodes. The show really has a great group of four massive horror fans bullshitting and talking about more goofy cult classics from the 80s. That's the best decade for horror in my opinion. This podcast stands out because it's often focused on entire series going through a film franchise each week uh, movie by movie including modern remakes and reboots in the film canons. They've covered everything from The Hills Have Eyes from 77 all the way through the reboots in the early 2000s. The entire Phantasm series every movie in the Child's Play series and then doing seasonal one-offs like Jack Frost or Trick or Treat. Heavy on production and making of facts as well as kicking off each show with what the hosts have been watching lately. This show is highly entertaining. I can't recommend this one enough. Definitely check out the cult classic horror show. And number two, Geek Talk. One of the newest podcasts on the list clocking in with just 16 episodes is a special one because it's hosted by none other than Diana Prince, AKA Darcy the Mail Blur. Darcy the male girl of The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs. Started in 2018, a good amount of these episodes have Joe Bob Briggs actually present as a guest and co-host. Um, and of course his knowledge and experience goes deep. If you don't know who Joe Bob Briggs is, um, he hosted Monsters, uh, he hosted Monster Vision in the 80s and he hosts currently uh, Shudder's uh, The Last Drive-In where he kind of hosts a movie night. If you haven't heard of Joe Bob Briggs, do yourself a favor and check him out because 
Uh, as a horror fan, uh, The Last Drive-In on Shudder will be like your new favorite show. He's awesome. Uh, there is so much horror pedigree packed into these few episodes um, with guests like legendary filmmaker Frank Henenlotter, uh, catching up with Joe Bob Briggs about the heyday of horror in the 80s. In another episode, Scream, Scream Queen Kelly Maroney stops by and talks chopping mall and behind the scenes stuff. Another episode, she has the original male girl from Monster Vision back in the 80s. Uh, which is a really fun episode. Uh, her and Joe Bob get deep about personal issues and just riff on general spooky stuff. Joe Bob almost being like a therapist or like father figure to her. They're both crazy. Joe Bob Briggs is a super insightful guy and it's really, it's just fascinating to listen to him talk about movies. So if you're a fan of Joe Bob Briggs and The Last Drive-In, definitely check out Geek Talk with Darcy the Male Girl, AKA Diana Prince. Second to the last on the list, number one. I say second to the last because I added a bonus podcast at the end of this video so stay tuned and there's a bonus podcast I really want you guys to check out. Bad Movie Night. At the recording of this episode this podcast is currently sitting at 200 episodes going back to 2016 so these guys have done their thing for a while now. Bad Movie Night podcast serves up probably the worst and the cheesiest movies um, on the list and succeeds at finding some really entertaining gems like 1995's Digital Man or 80's classics like Future Force or Hawk the Slayer. Ultra trashy cheese that any genre fan can appreciate. This podcast is so much fun. I love the So Bad It's Good movies and that's kind of what they focus on. Also accompanied by a popular YouTube channel of the same name with the host doing more traditional movie reviews, uh, the Bad Movie Night podcast gives terribly bad but hilarious movies more attention than they probably should but it's a lot of fun uh, but nonetheless the boys are dedicated man they did they love their horror if you do go to their youtube channel you'll find a lot of episodes have video versions of the podcast as well have a cheesy good time with the boys at bad movie night podcast it's a lot of fun check that out all right now this is the bonus episode and this bonus podcast rather this is a bonus because it's not a traditional movie podcast but a little different take on just a horror and super creepy spooky podcast. This one's called Radio Rental. Final podcast and bonus show is different than all of the other previous pods in that it isn't a horror movie podcast but a horror spooky podcast itself. Created by Payne Lindsay of the amazing true crime podcast Up and Vanished, the semi-scripted, uh, incredibly fun and well-executed show combining the true life mysterious horror stories hosted by fictional video clerk Terry Carnation played by the talented Rain Wilson aka Dwight Schrute is a truly original creation. I mean this. This show is so much fun. The creator Payne Lindsay searched the internet for some of the most terrifying real life stories submitted by real people and he recorded these people telling their stories and combines that with some produced and recorded se uh, segments that are truly unsettling. They've selected some really disturbing Twilight Zone-esque stories. Each show starts and it's kind of like you walk into a video, video store and Terry Carnation is the clerk and he asks you what you're interested in. He pulls a VH, VHS tape um, off the wall and you can hear him put it in the VCR and he pushes play. That's how each story starts. And they play out kind of like it's an old timey like radio show but for a modern audience. Uh, for being just an audio podcast, it's so well made that you can picture every person scenario and scary tale like play out in your head. I don't want to spoil any of the stories here, but the first episode will suck you in immediately. Um, it's really hard to turn off. The first story that kicks the whole podcast off is honestly so creepy and insane. I was thinking about it for like a week straight. Uh, give Radio Rental a shot. I don't hear anyone talk about this one. Um, and these episodes are really well produced and you can tell they put hundreds of hours into this thing. So definitely give it a listen. It's definitely worth your time. That concludes our top 10 horror podcast. I hope you discovered one or two podcasts that you haven't heard of. I'm sure you're going to enjoy at least a couple of these. Um, they are some of my favorite horror podcast. Definitely let me know in the comments below what your favorite podcasts are. If I mentioned one of your favorites, if there's one I didn't mention that you think I might like, I'm always looking for new podcasts. And again, this is part two of a two-part uh, video, so check the link below for the other part. And I'll be back again tomorrow as I'm posting a video every single day in October. Guys, Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Happy October. Stay weird. And until next time, bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies.
I love watching them, and I love making them. I've seen me a stripper with one breast. And I've seen me a stripper with 12 toes. And I've seen me a stripper with no brains at all, but I ain't never seen me a one-legged stripper.